Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'm going to show you one of the most important feature of JMeter plugin that is JMeter standard plugin, which is tapping thread group. So here we have created a simple thread group. I'm going to create a new thread group, which is tapping thread group. So we can see the difference between these two thread groups. Here we just have few functionalities like how many numbers you want to hit to the server in ramp up time what is the ramp up time but here we have a lot of functionalities like i want to start with 10 users or i will say five users so you can check it over here we are going to start with the five users first wait for three seconds means you are starting this five users so before starting any user wait for three seconds then start one thread so i'm starting one thread next add four threads in every one second i'll show you using ramp up one so that's that's the complete scenario i have designed i'll show you what how we are doing that then hold for 60 seconds means it is going to run for 60 seconds and finally stop five threads in every one second so i'm going to show it again total number of threads will be five which i've taken wait for three seconds so it is waiting for three seconds then you are saying then start one thread then start one thread so after three seconds it has started one thread so that's why one thread is started next add four threads in every one second now in every one second it is adding four threads then hold for the 60 seconds we are running it for 60 seconds and then stop all the threads in one second so it is removing all the threads in one second so here we can see like you know we are designing a bit complex scenario uh, we have seen like if my number of users are increasing hits per second should be increased so i'm going to show you a bit typical scenario in which i want to execute total 10 threads first start for three seconds i'm saying first wait for the one second and then four threads should be started so here you can see one second wait and then start four threads. So after one second, we have four threads over here. Then add one thread in every one second. So after that in every one second, or I can say in every five seconds, my one thread is going to be started. Now run it for 60 seconds. So from here, to here it's going to execute for 60 seconds using a ramp up one second so ramp up time you have given one second you can give ramp up zero as well so it's not going to take any time in the ramp up so we can consider this thread group stepping thread group means we can define how my users are going to the application in response so again i set ramp up as zero now Consider this scenario again, 10 users, yes, I'm going to execute 10 users, first wait for one second, waiting for one second, then start four threads. So after one second, four thread is started. Then add one thread in every five seconds. So wait for five seconds, add one thread, five seconds, one thread, five seconds, one thread. Here all the threads will be active. Now wait for 60 seconds. So it's waiting for the 60 seconds and then in every one second stop five threads so first second five thread is stopped and then next second five threads are stopped so th that is the complete scenario i'm going to add few samplers so that's my sampler and this time i'm going to hit my application which is shop dot the testing 
word.com and now I'm going to show you few graphs like one is hits per second so we must see as number of users are increasing my hits per second should be increased and also I'm going to show you active threads so that's my active threads and later on I'm going to add a composite graph as well running it I'm disabling my previous thread group and I'm running it so here first we see this active thread graph so at the start we have this four active threads and then you can see in every few seconds my one active thread is increasing because we have given like first start with the four then after five seconds one active thread is increasing so here we can consider this graph like in every five seconds one active thread is increasing now we have all the 10 active threads so this this is showing like all the threads are here now if we talk about the hits per second started with the four and then you can see my hits per second is continuously increasing and at one point when all the 10 users are here we are getting constant hits per second means it is not going to increase anymore so we have already seen hits per seconds and active threads over time i'm going to stop this and i'll show you composite graph as well so i'm coming and adding to adding a composite graph at the start now here i'm going to run it for a couple of seconds so here we are getting these which i can use in the composite graph so i want to use hits per second and active threads now Clearing previous results, going to the chart, running it. Here we can see two graphs. One is, you know, your hits per second and other is active users. So you can see as my active users are increasing, hits per second is also increasing. So blue color is my active threads over time and that is my hits per second. And at one point, this hits per second active users is going to be constant. Now, hits per second will be under this limit because now my more users are not increasing. So, here we have seen what are the different settings which we can do here on the stepping thread group. And only one thing is pending, like I'll show you after running. For the specified time like after running 1.32 seconds it's going to remove it's going to decrease these active threads so let it complete and i'll show you that and running it it is running so now we have constant active number of users and hits per second are again going to the constant and now five threads are removed five active threads are removed in one second and rest five threads are removed in the next second so all the threads are removed from the thread group and here we can also see it is grayed out means everything is done successfully so in this session we have seen how we can use stepping thread group and also we have seen different functionalities of this thread group that is one of the most important uh, element which we are going to use because it brings functionality of the load runner in JMeter. We have that kind of functionality, we can get that kind of functionality in the load runner only. So we are implementing the same functionality here in this JMeter by using this stepping thread group. So in this session we have seen how we can use stepping thread group and also we have seen how we can use different graphs in this stepping thread group. 
So that's all we have for the session. Thanks for watching this video.